Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, did you see old Putin bitch slap Joe Biden at every turn in Geneva? I mean, how great is it that they get to use, just like China did, Black Lives Matter and police shootings? Because our liberal media, everybody else is jumping on the board, so why can't foreign leaders jump on board with it? And isn't it great how Putin answers every question like, well, cyber attack, cyber attack. Well, we're worried about cyber attacks too. You know, you know, and this, this thing about this, Putin has been the dictator of Russia for like 20 freaking years now or more. I mean, you have, you know what, this is the thing about Putin. Putin is a stone cold killer, but he's a charming stone cold killer, isn't he? I mean, he cracks me up, but just shamelessly says whatever the hell goes on. And there's old Joe, senile Joe Biden. Cracks me up. All right, McDonald's bra. Woo! Poor McDonald's workers. You see this woman? Jeez, oh, freaking Pete. Again, they don't say it was a black woman. It's just a woman. She got pissed off. You know why? They wouldn't mix a slushy the right way. Two things couldn't mix and she got pissed off. I mean, she went bonkers. The stress from the pandemic. Kim Jong-un. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's skinnier than he used to be. And he says, his words were, there's a tense food situation. Now, I want to stress this. Starving ain't funny. Okay, the North Korean people are starving. But it must be pretty bad if Kim Jong-un can't even find food. <laughs> I mean, for him to say, for him to admit it's a tense situation, it must be pretty bad. Kim Jong-un's coming back to everybody. They don't even have food for Kim Jong-un. Uh, South Carolina had to suspend um, <laughs> the death penalty because they didn't have a firing squad. Remember, they passed the law <laughs> saying they were going to do death by firing squad, but they don't have a firing squad. <laughs> what kind of, by the way, just think of this. How many people do they want in their firing squad? Ten, five, three? And who are the people that are volunteering <laughs> for this? Can you imagine the characters that are volunteering? I'll be on your firing squad. I'd like to shoot me some people. <laughs> but until they get a firing squad. UFOs. Our great government says that unidentified flying object, objects are a threat to our country. No, sh no crap. I mean, really? You, you think? I mean, these, if there are real unidentified flying objects with supersonic speed and nothing that we got, and they're flying around checking us out, how do we not know that at any given time, just like in the movies, Earth's gone. I mean, it's scary. I guess we may not, might as well not worry about it because we're all going to go together. I mean, yeah, I think it might be a national threat. God, we used to watch this on movies and think it was absurd. Now we know it's true. Larry Householder. Larry H Householder finally got kicked out of office up in Columbus, the Senate, he's the guy that tangled up in the uh, bribery scandal with the power company. He says he thinks he could win again. <laughs> These egomaniacs, man. Hey, Larry, lay off the cheeseburgers or you're not going to live to be able to run again. Uh, they found in Botswana, I'm thinking about sending Chuck Holbrook down to Botswana with Joe and Murdoch and a whole team, just like the A-team way. They found a 1,098 carat diamond. Here, honey, I brought home something for you. A 1,098 carat diamond? Here's what I have to say. If they found one, chances are there's another one. Chuck, pack your bags. Go find me a big diamond. Uh, Joe Biden snaps. A CNN court reporter. He snapped at him. What are you, what are you saying here? Isn't it funny old Joe? Say, he's later apologized for s snapping and being snippy. What kind of questions do you ask? What do you do? I mean, good old senility makes you snap because you get frustrated with yourself. Uh, Hunter Biden, more texts and emails. And by the way, doesn't it seem a little creepy the way he had his arm around his cousin Caroline? 
I mean, let's face it. There's apparently pictures with him with his stepdaughter. Or, I mean, excuse me, his, his niece, his cousin. I think Hunter Biden, there ain't nothing Hunter Biden would mess, not mess with. Except yellow. It came out that he doesn't want yellow. He doesn't want Asians. He's not into that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Nothing happens to Hunter Biden. And by the way, they've warned, they've warned Kamala Harris's niece about grafting and taking advantage of her situation. What about Hunter? Selling $500,000 paintings. Hunter is like the screwed up child that just gets away with everything and just continues. It's, and this, by the way, this guy's as old as me. And he just acts like a crazy teenager on drugs. Hunter Biden. No yellow for him. I just want to make this major scientific announcement. The cicadas have peaked. Of course, I figured that out myself based upon the noise around our home. But the bottom line is the cicadas are on the way out. And it can't happen soon enough. I don't know why we didn't exterminate them now. Why we don't have to worry about them in 17 years. Uh, Brian... Stelter from CNN, is, his ratings are down 72%. Have you ever looked at a picture of this guy? We're going to put him up on the screen. Does he not look like a guy that picks his nose, eats boogers, has bad breath, and is like a sicko weird guy? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Because I promised not to disparage somebody in a lawsuit settlement, he also looks like somebody else I know. Uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo says, drink water, not Coke. Coke loses $4 billion of market value. See, I like this. When a guy like Ronaldo uses his power to hit the corporation, I kind of like it. Ronaldo, king of the world. By the way, if you didn't know, the king athlete, even bigger than LeBron, worldwide, Ronaldo. You ought to name your kid Ronaldo and good things would happen. Ronaldo, having one name. Isn't that great having one name? Ronaldo, the Coke killer. Uh, what else? Fed statement. The Fed issued a statement that they're probably going to have to increase interest rates uh, because of inflation. Here we go. Here we go. In inflation interest rates, just like under good old Jimmy Carter. Uh, investigation. I, I got it. They just keep saying this word, and I want to just pause here for a moment and have a good laugh with you. Isn't it hilarious when they say, well, the FBI is going to investigate the IRS leaks on the billionaire? That happened yesterday. Um, the subcommittee in the House is going to open an investigation. FBI is open an investigation. The Senate's opening up an investigation. The armed investigation, investigation. What does it all mean? Not a damn thing. When they say open up an investigation, it doesn't mean squat. Look at all the damn investigations that have come out of Washington, D.C. the last 20 years that all result in what? Not a damn thing. In fact, I'm convinced they do the investigation to control it all. Investigation. An investigation doesn't mean crap. I can see it now. You're sitting there having dinner. You know, you're a congressman or a senator, and somebody comes up to you and they say, hey, Jim, did you hear the news? The Senate and the FBI and the IRS are all open investigations against you. Well, that ain't no big deal. Who loses sleep over an investigation? Nobody. It's a joke. Uh, Kentucky Constable. A Kentucky Constable arrested the FBI who were undercut uh, wrongfully, who were investigating them for being involved in drug trade. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They ought to do a movie about this. Kentucky constables, by the way, I want to run for Kentucky constable because you kind of have arrest powers and authorities. It gets abused all across Kentucky, but Kentucky will not abolish them. Uh, but bottom line is, a Kentucky constable was being investigated undercover by a Fed, and the constable arrested the Fed. <laughs> Can't make it up. Only in Kentucky. Uh, Juneteenth, the Senate and the House have both passed a law to say that Juneteenth, the 19th of June is going to be a national holiday. Folks, that is the biggest pandering to the Black Lives Matter and left I've ever seen in the entire freaking world. A national holiday. Oh, well, let's just keep, add, let's keep adding to the days off that we give our swamp workers. Uh, th did you see about the finding at Camp David? They found a dead body. The remains of a dead body skeleton, a woman 
at Camp David. All I got to say is this, you know which administration that dead body occurred. We know it's Bill and Hillary, right? They invited somebody, whacked them when they took the woods in the wall. Actually, maybe Hillary was with them and hit, her, hit them over the head with a rock. Victoria's Secrets. Now, I just want to say, I'm going to speak for all men in America, okay? We liked our Sports Illustrated swimsuit February issue. We like the Victoria's Secret models. What do they do? Sports Illustrated starts having plus side women. I will never understand why we decided as society to let's make fat beautiful. Fat ain't beautiful. I don't understand all of you all that think the Kardashians are hot. Their asses are wider than a freaking pickup truck. I don't get it. Well now Victoria's Secrets, all those beautiful models, they're not going to get the runway anymore. It's going to be transgender. It's going to be plus size. It's going to be fat, ugly women. Who watches this stuff? I mean, it cracks me up. This movement in this country. It used to be cheerleaders were all hot. Now they're plus size models. You know what? It's okay to be fat if you're fat. That doesn't mean you should be a Victoria's Secret model. What's the world coming to? Beauty is beauty. All right, I'm gonna throw this out there. <laughs> Christy Thegan wants to go on Oprah to clear things up. Everybody goes to Oprah, so I'm offering to you, all of you tri-staters that have massive publicity problems, I'm willing to be your Oprah right here. Let me be your Oprah. You can bring all your troubles to me and we'll try to make them better. I want to be the tri-state Oprah. Uh, Trump on Biden. Trump blasted Biden, said it was a big waste of time. I just think that Trump is 100% correct that uh, Putin doesn't respect Biden. He respected Trump. Car rentals, another inflationary problem. When the pandemic hit, what did all the car rental companies do? Sell their freaking cars. Try to stay in business. Well, guess what? Now they don't have any cars. The price of a car rental is double. Try going on a vacation and finding a car rental. It's going to cost you. Uh, a new report says that young women, sorry ladies, young single women of childbearing age shouldn't drink because it could affect your being pregnant and having babies and everything else. So how do you like that, ladies? The new culture we live in says you got to stop drinking. It's a bunch of baloney. I know plenty of women that have drank and still had babies. But that's what the science says. Last but not least, critical race theory. Like 58% of Americans say no, 38% say yes. Who the hell are those 38%? I'll tell you what it is. It's the 13% of the blacks plus all the white liberals. This is a bulldog. Every dog has their day. I say let beautiful women be beautiful women. And fat women can just be fat women. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.